Meanwhile, we are learning new details this afternoon on what local law enforcement knew about the Lewiston mass shooter before he opened fire. For the first time, Sagat Hawk Sheriff Joel Mary is speaking on camera. He spoke with our Zach Merchant today. So, uh, Zach, what did the sheriff have to say? A lot of news coming out of this conversation today. I want to start with the first bit here. We, we got to ask the sheriff directly about what deputies did and did not do after they were alerted that Robert Card might be dangerous. In May, Card's family told the sheriff's office they worried Card was paranoid and hearing voices. A sheriff's office report from the time warns that Card had access to 10 to 15 guns. In September, another report obtained by News Center Maine reveals that the Army Reserve asked the sheriff's office to check on Card after he made threats to shoot up a Saco military base. A deputy twice knocked on Card's door, but left after nobody opened up. After Card's Army Reserve commander told law enforcement he no longer had access to military weapons, and Card's brother told the sheriff's office he would try to secure Card's guns, deputies stopped looking for Card. Sheriff Mary confirming today his deputies never made face-to-face -face contact with Card. Is it appropriate for law enforcement to take those assurances as opposed to verifying it themselves? You know, that, that's one of those things and, and um, every one of these is different and you, you, you try to uh, treat them all independently and you try to look at each and every case uh, as it presents itself. Um, so you can always, uh, you know, hindsight is a great thing if we have that. We never have the ability to look into the future. Sheriff Mary said in a statement he believes his deputies acted appropriately, but he told us today he believes his office will be changing how they handle similar situations moving forward. When we asked him directly how that change would have happened, he wouldn't say specifically. All right, Zach, thank you for that. And the sheriff also uh, saying in a statement that his heart is breaking for the victims and their loved ones affected. 